NASA-backed scientists have just uncovered a mysterious dark halo right at the center of the Milky Way, a region already dominated by a supermassive black hole. But this isn't another black hole discovery, it's something far stranger, a halo of energy that doesn't glow, a force powerful enough to strip hydrogen atoms of their electrons without any known source to explain it. Theories that once centered on cosmic rays or black hole jets are falling short. And now, scientists believe they might be witnessing something long thought undetectable. The effects of light dark matter. What does this mean? Why now? And how close are we to unlocking one of the deepest mysteries in the cosmos? Let's find out. At the center of the Milky Way lies the Central Molecular Zone, a dense region filled with gas clouds, radiation, and stellar activity. Astronomers have studied this region for decades, mainly due to its proximity to Sagittarius A star, the Milky Way's supermassive black hole. But recent observations, specifically targeting hydrogen gas behavior, revealed something new Scientists detected unusually high levels of ionized hydrogen across large sections of the CMZ. Normally, hydrogen is a neutral atom. However, in these observations, it had lost electrons, which means something is actively stripping them away. Ionization like this requires a continuous and concentrated energy source. Naturally, researchers began by considering familiar astrophysical candidates, cosmic rays, X-rays from Sagittarius A star, even supernova remnants. But the spatial patterns and energy levels didn't match. Then came the unexpected structure, a halo-like distribution of ionization stretching outward in a pattern that didn't align with any known stellar source. It was spherically symmetric, persistent, and oddly quiet. This is what scientists are now calling a dark halo. Unlike ordinary gas or plasma, this structure doesn't emit any visible light. It interacts gravitationally, but appears invisible across most wavelengths. This behavior matches what's long been predicted for dark matter, particularly a form called light dark matter, composed of particles far less massive than those previously assumed. The dark halo might not be a traditional structure at all. It could be the result of dark matter particles colliding and annihilating, releasing just enough energy to ionize hydrogen in the process. If true, we're not looking at dark matter directly, we're seeing what it does. The dominant theory for decades has focused on WIMPs, weakly interacting massive particles. These were hypothesized to be heavy, slow-moving, and almost invisible, except through gravitational interactions. Experiments like LUX, Xenon and Dama have been built specifically to detect them, but there's a problem. After years of experiments, we still haven't found them. This has led some physicists to explore alternative models, including ones that propose dark matter could be much lighter than WIMPs. Instead of weighing hundreds of times more than a proton, these particles might weigh less than a single proton, possibly down to the scale of an electron or below. One of the key processes under investigation is self-annihilation. If two dark matter particles collide, they could annihilate and produce pairs of electrons and positrons. These positrons, in turn, can ionize hydrogen atoms, stripping away electrons and creating the positively charged clouds observed. Interestingly, this also connects to a long-standing mystery in X-ray astronomy, the 511 kilo electron volt emission line. This signal, detected in the galactic center for decades, represents the energy released when positrons annihilate with electrons. While various explanations have been proposed, pulsars, black holes, stellar flares, none have fully accounted for the quantity and distribution of the signal. But if light dark matter annihilation is occurring in the galactic center, it could explain both the ionized hydrogen and the 511 kilo electron volt gamma ray emission in a unified way. This doesn't mean it's proven, there are still competing theories, but for the first time, we have an observation that fits multiple unexplained phenomena and does so using a testable framework. 
and that's enough to take it seriously. If this dark halo truly represents a manifestation of light dark matter, the implications are significant. It could change how we model the early universe, how we understand galaxy formation, and how we interpret large-scale structures across space. There are still alternative explanations for the ionization patterns. Some researchers argue that the energy could be coming from previously undetected supernovae or pulsars. Others suggest low-level activity from Sagittarius A star might be more complex than we currently model. What makes the dark matter explanation compelling isn't that it's the only possible one. It's that it explains multiple anomalies simultaneously. NASA's upcoming mission, Compton Spectrometer and Imager, scheduled for launch around 2027, will be capable of mapping the 511 kilo electron volt line in unprecedented detail. That will either support or challenge the link between dark matter annihilation and positron generation. On the ground, other experiments are beginning to shift focus toward lighter dark matter particles using techniques like quantum sensors and electron scattering. These technologies may eventually converge with astronomical data to provide a multi-method confirmation. It's also possible that future deep surveys of the CMZ will uncover temporal variations in ionization or emissions. If changes over time are observed, they could help distinguish between steady-state astrophysical processes and more dynamic particle-based interactions. Regardless of the final verdict, this discovery has already served a valuable purpose. It's reframing the conversation around dark matter. Rather than searching for it where we assume it should be, we're now learning to look for what it leaves behind. The dark halo found at the Milky Way Center may not give us all the answers, but it gives us something just as important, direction, a lead, a set of phenomena we can observe, test, and refine. It reminds us that science doesn't always move through definitive breakthroughs. Sometimes it's the gradual convergence of scattered anomalies that tells us we're on the right path.